Hello. Yes. What happened? Didn't we bought two machines last week on that job site? Yes, just get them repaired. Hello. I do not want to listen to any reason. I want that slab to be completed by tomorrow. Okay. Hello. I have already bought so many tools on that job site. Why do you need more machines? I do not understand this. Does this look familiar to you on a construction job site? If yes, then you are at the right place. Hello everyone and welcome to Hilti Live, bringing you more productivity and safety on construction job site. I am Akash, your digital account manager, connecting with you all live via LinkedIn. What I just did is an everyday story on a construction job site, wherein you keep on purchasing a lot of tools and machinery and expect your workforce to be highly productive. But in the end, you figure out that you are spending a lot of time and energy and your work is still getting delayed and hampered because of mismanagement of tools and machineries at the job site. And this is what exactly we are going to discuss in today's episode, that what are some of the challenges associated with managing of tools and machinery at the job site and how we as Hilti can help you overcome these challenges. And to take this forward today with us is C. Jojos, Product Manager of Tool Services at Hilti India. Hi, C. Jo, and welcome to Hilti Live. Hi, Akash, and hello to everyone watching us live. Thank you, Akash, for giving me an opportunity to discuss such an important topic. In the fast-changing world today, increasing productivity is one of the most important things on any of the job sites. To start this off, let me ask a question. What do you think is the rate of increase of productivity on construction job sites year on year? The options are, option A, is it 1%, B, 3%, C, 5% or D, 7%? So, let us know in the comment section below, what do you think is the right answer? And let's see who gets it right. Moreover, please feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below because we both will be making sure to answer each one of you at the end of the live. And now, Sijo, would you like to reveal what's your right answer? Definitely. So many of you are commenting 3%, 5%, 7%, but you will be surprised to know that the accurate answer is 1%. So, the improvement in productivity in the execution at job site is just 1%. Now, to give you some perspective, the increase or improvement in productivity in the manufacturing sector year on year is around 3.6%. Now, it is, it, is, it is really surprising. There's a study by McKinsey Global which suggests that the job site productivity that we are getting today is almost identical to what we were getting 20 years back. Now imagine the situation. We have more powerful tools, we have better engineering, we have faster construction techniques. And in the end, you know, where it, where it comes down to the job site execution, we are still at the same level where we were 20 years back. 20 years, that's a long time. And let me share my experience. I have been to many construction job sites across India and what I have seen is the biggest reasons for such a low growth are first, inefficient processes, second, unplanned cost and finally, the unproductive workforce wherein many a times a small machine like a breaker, 
a hammer drill machine or a core cutting tool are very critical very important for the job to be done on time and a small breakdown can lead to complete work getting stopped i totally agree akash last month i was on a job site there was this slab extension work going on uh, you know it was hustling and bustling there were the rebars were connected the conduit pipes were there everything everything was in place and exactly at this moment there were two breaking machines being used to prepare the construction joint and one of them broke down and after some time the other one also broke down it became so critical that almost 25 people were sitting idle the construction company was left with no other choice so they had to procure two breakers in emergency situation it is specifically akash these type of situations you know which prevent the productivity from going to the next level so i would like to say the devil is in the details so most of the bigger thing everybody plans but it is the smaller tools and tackles their failures which prevent the productivity from improving on job sites 25 people were sitting idle just imagine do you also face similar challenges similar situations at your job site let us know in the comment section below and the bigger question is what's the solution to this problem many of you would be wondering that uh, adding backup tools to your construction job site can solve this what do you think let us know in the comment section below now you know adding backup tools may to some extent help you solve this problem but what about the incre increase cost and what about the increase manpower and resources that you need to keep these tools in in a working condition now the job site that i was talking about also had a few backup tools but because of the processes approvals involved in the repair and the you know because of the unforeseen circumstances these backup tools were also not working interesting so sijo do you mean to say for such a serious problem there is no solution out there <laughs> no no obviously there is a solution and that's 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 where we come into the picture uh but what i'm trying to say is that the solution to this problem is not investing in more and more machinery it's rather addressing the elephant in the room it's solving the problem with productivity and that's where we can help you with the hilti premium service of productivity consultation we use our expertise and our knowledge of the job sites and we come to your organization to your job site conduct a detailed study of all your tool inventory of all the direct and indirect costs and also the actual ground level situation when it comes to execution in your organization based on this study we 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 formulate a report and give it to you basis of which you can take key decisions on how can you improve the job site productivity and take it to the next level let me explain this further in a little bit more detail this consists of five steps one understanding your tool inventory two evaluating the cost three understanding your processes four understanding the utilization of your tools and the fifth step is the compilation of the productivity report so let me explain this a little bit more in step 1 we understand your tool inventory now you may say that can be simply found found out by just looking at the inventory register but this goes much beyond that we figure out what is the actual ground level situation of these tools what number what condition which location number 2 we figure out evaluate the cost the direct cost and also the indirect or hidden cost the cost that are being incurred due to lack of productivity the cost that is incurred when a tool breaks down we help you evaluate all these cost step 3 we find out where all your processes can be streamlined even further even more in the fourth step we we identify we compare your existing tools and machinery to the newer technologies available in the market we we tell you what is the cost impact and what is the productivity impact in the last and the final step we tell you compile all these uh, results and tell you what is the possibility of cost saving and productivity gain 
in your organization based on these findings. Wow, what an amazing solution, Sijo. And we discuss there are so many challenges that comes on a job site while managing tools and machinery. And productivity consultation is a single stop solution for all these challenges and improving the productivity at your job site. And now, are you all wondering how to get productivity consultation at your job site? All you have to do is click on the link in the description of the video below and our team will reach out to you shortly. So do not forget to click on that and let me quickly summarize what we discussed today. First, we saw that why increase in productivity of construction job site is so low despite enhancement in engineering and technology. Secondly, we saw how getting a productivity consultation at your job site can help you identify and overcome process gaps, hidden cost and other challenges. And finally, we discussed five steps of productivity consultation in detail and saw how drastically you can improve productivity of your job site by availing this service. And that's it from our side in today's episode. I hope you enjoy the live session with my colleague, C. Jo Jos. It was an amazing experience to interact with you all. Next episode, we will be continuing our journey of impro improving productivity on construction job site with the help of productivity consultation. So stay tuned, stay safe. Thanks for the opportunity, Akash, and thank you for watching us live.